Sergio, you've got a story about an engagement ring and social media coming to the rescue. And a couple of dollars. What do you got? So what a son wouldn't do for his own mother, uh, Judy Kluska of Philadelphia was shopping at the Cherry Hill Mall uh, on New Year's Day when she lost her engagement ring that she had for 33 years. About 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm getting in my car to go home, and I went to reach for the door, and I noticed it wasn't on there. And I knew I had it on that day. Julie was heartbroken, but her son, Jason, stepped in, and, and he did his thing. He, he came and saved the day. I felt terrible to my mother, and, you know, my mother being happy is obviously very important to me, and I would do anything to make sure that, you know, she's, her, her happiness is maintained. Uh, so what he did, he posted up a picture on social media of the ring, and he also offered a $1,000 reward for the return of the ring. What happened was I actually shared it, and I have a lot of friends on Facebook. I shared it at first, and I think the first 10 hours, it was only shared 500 times by my friends. And my friend Brian Lemke actually suggested I make it public. Once I made it public, and it went from 500 shares to 11,000 shares in like uh, an hour. When the post and the shares paid off, the ring was found in the Forever 21 store about a child running through the mall. Uh, so no I also had, yeah. See, it's a good thing to it's run in public thing. spaces. Yeah. So I, uh, I spoke to the child's father, John Kayser. Uh, my fiance was running with him through the mall and just happened to look down and found the ring. So, so wait, the, kid little, found the, ring, the, the kid found the ring, gives it to his dad, Right, that holds yeah. on to it, and, that, and then they connect it through Facebook. Right, exactly. Okay. I'm going that way, and that way, I'm going that way. You went that way? Uh-huh. Where so was it? It was on the floor? The ring was sitting on the bottom rack of the Forever 21 store. So as soon as you walk in, Jason presented his mom with the ring in an unusual way. What he did was he got down on one knee, and he proposed to his mom uh, by presenting her with the ring. All right, that's the awkward side of the story. But the other side of the story was, think of the random chances of this kid finding the ring and then it all connecting back. I think it's great. Did he, so he paid the thousand bucks. Paid the thousand bucks, the ring was returned. Everyone went home happy. Not bad. Am I the only one that, that, that thinks this kid is a little bit of a jerk for accepting the thousand dollars? Did he feel bad paying it? Probably not. The kid didn't have to say that he found the ring. Would you not have taken the reward? I don't think I would have. Really? Would you have taken the reward? No. Really? Yeah. None of you would have taken the reward. Mm. I might have. It depends okay. on my financial situation at the time. It's okay. I w I'm telling you, I would have taken it. Yeah. He would have felt bad if he offered a reward and the person didn't accept it. Right. Right? Exactly.